there, it's time for your bi-weekly Brambleberry Farm inventory update. Uh, today is May 12th, 2023, and let's see what we have. All right, we have some um, early glow standard strawberries, um, uh, Virginia native wild strawberries there, uh, some triple crown thornless blackberries in gallon pots, uh, Joan J. Thornless Red Raspberries. We still have tons of gallon size of those and just a couple quart pots left. Um, the Jewel Black Raspberry. We mostly have gallons. We have a few um, quart pots. The Royalty Purple Raspberries. We still have tons of those in quart pots for 8 and gallon pots for 16. Oh, a few jewel uh, conventional strawberries. Uh, those didn't transplant very well, but um, there are a few that made it well. We still have a nice selection of blueberries here. Um, Berkeley, Elliot, Early Blue, Aurora, some larger plants of Aurora, Patriot, and Blue Crop. Um, a bunch of tiny Blue Ray, Early Blue, um, Patriot, Berkeley, Blue Ray. The uh, Sweet Scarlet Goomies, they are, they did not transplant the best, but there are a few nice ones that are looking good, and um, a decent number of the ones that um, aren't looking good right now are coming out of it. Uh, the Gojis, we just have the Big Life Berry Gojis left. Um, a few Kalinka Highbush Cranberry in gallon pots. Um, lots of Aronia still, Viking, Nero, Mackenzie in quart pots, and a few uh, seedling of Nero in gallon pots. Come around here to the herb table. It's looking a little more full now. Uh, we have some wild ginger there, a few ramps left. Um, the sensitive ferns are coming up nicely now. A few trillium left. Um, uh, some eastern red columbine seedlings that are starting to take off. A few ostrich ferns here, but I have a ton more back in the propagation greenhouse. Um, we've got some of the northern blue flag iris. Um, the Japanese per parsley is still just little tiny seedlings. Uh, Kentucky Colonel Mint, that's the traditional mint julep uh, mint. Some purple chives, one thing of garlic chives. Uh, we've got some nice um, Virginia Mountain Mint quart pots there, some Himalayan Silver Mint, uh, one candied fruit mint back there. Um, some uh, Big Leaf Mountain Mint, that's another native mint. Uh, some nice uh, gray leaf uh, cat mint, a great pollinator attractor. We still got that chocolate burnet and a couple um, Mexican hyssops. Oh, here's I haven't organized these on the table yet, but um, it, we have some tiger tooth jujube um, on their own roots here. Um, that the tiger tooth is smaller than some of the other named varieties of jujube, but um, being on its own roots is significant for uh, for jujubes, which often get killed back to the ground um, by ambrosia beetles, and it will still sprout out from the roots usually. All right, a few. Oh, these are a little bit misplaced, but um, eh, red mulberry seedlings. This one has a few little fruits on it, so we know that one's going to be a female. Although the red mulberry do sort of um, uh, are are a little bit more. Oh, what's the word for it? They're not entirely dioecious. Um, eh, sometimes the there will be female and male flowers on the same tree with those, unlike the uh, the Morris Alba or Morris Nigra. 
Anyways, um, those are all figs. We'll go around to the front of that side. All right, so tons of figs still. Chicago Hardy, Brooklyn Dark, Brooklyn White, um, Marseille Black, VS, Magbar, Stella, Nero 600, Celeste, Magnolia, Sednaya White, LSU Gold, Marseille White, Genos, and then in the quart pots, figs, we have Brooklyn White, Laterula, Sunfire, Syrian Dark, uh, Chicago Hardy, um, Marseille Black, VS, Genos, Magbar, Magnolia, Black Forest, um, and then here are more seedling red mulberries, uh, Kakuso mulberry on its own roots. Uh, we've got just a couple white fruiting mulberries. They don't taste like anything, but they also don't stain your patio, which is the only reason that we graft those. Um, we've got a couple Italian mulberries left, more Kakuso and Illinois everbearing on their own roots. Um, and we also have a bunch, I'll show you in, in a bit, we have some larger mulberries still down with the larger fruit trees. Some uh, Virginia witch hazel, uh, some of the compact oregano, that's a creeping oregano, um, Aram gold creeping oregano, just a couple Zorba red oreganos left, but I should be potting more of those up soon. Um, a few little uh, sage plants, some uh, rock and raspberry bergamot, um, and then the uh, larger, uh, more um, old-fashioned bergamot, uh, and some of the native bergamot, which as you can see is very prone to the powdery mildew, but it's vigorous, it's native, the bees love it. Um, it can grow wild out in your field. All right, uh, some yarrow, a couple things of citronella balm. Uh, these purple flowering raspberries, I moved them down here to the herb table from the raspberry table because they don't actually make raspberries. Um, they're a native shrub that is, it's thornless. They've got, you know, these little, oh, little fuzzy there's a term for that, but um, the stems are fuzzy rather than thorny, and they make attractive you know, purpley pink um, single petaled flowers. Uh, some uh, little gold star black eyed Susans. Let's go around down here to the fruit table. We still have a decent selection of semi-dwarf apples in the gallon pot size. Chestnut crab, Liberty, Geneva crab, Arkansas black, Molly's delicious, red free. Um, and then the dwarf apples, they tend to be so, so much less vigorous and we've lost a lot of those over the winter. But we still have a couple Liberty, um, let's see. Uh, Molly is delicious. Hudson's, no, the Hudson's Golden Gem isn't very good. Anyways, I think that's it. Uh, Potomac Semi-Dwarf Pears. So these are all the pears here. Um, we've still got a really nice selection of pears in the gallon pot. So these will be potted up pretty soon to two gallons. Um, those gallon apples will be too, by the way. Uh, but right now we have the Potomac, uh, Kiefer, Sunrise, more Potomac, um, Shenandoah, Honey Sweet, um, Magnus, Sunrise, Kiefer, Korean Giant, Shinsiki, and I think that's it for the pears in the gallon pots. Um, we have a few Rosa Yonka hybrid persimmons left. Um, it's a uh, nice large fruited hybrid persimmon with um, uh, more of the American growth habit and leaf shape. And oh well I'll show you these guys aren't up yet out here but I have some more in the greenhouse to show you in a bit. Uh, just a couple 
pretty tall um, Japanese raisin trees right there. All right, so one thing that everyone's been waiting for, uh, the trifoliate orange. We finally have potted up the flying dragon trifoliate oranges. Um, yes, they are hardy up to zone five, and they, they are, uh, I don't know, they're just really cool trees. And they do make an edible fruit taste like... Uh, lime mixed with a grapefruit. Um, some people call them bitter oranges. Um, I wouldn't say they're bitter so much as sort of aromatic, but a good substitute for lime in drinks and used widely in Korean cooking. Uh, these are have just been potted up this week, I think on Monday, and they are looking good. They transplanted well. Um, I'm a little hesitant for them to go to new homes until next weekend, but if you promise to uh, give them a little TLC, you can go ahead and take them home this weekend. Uh, we've got our pomegranates out here now. Um, they are one of those marginally hardy things that we don't actually get fruit off of to speak of, um, but they're cool. They're pretty plants. All right. And, oh, we do have a couple things down here to send. Um, we still have the Nanking bush cherries in the little tiny uh, three-inch pots for $4. Um, we ordered in a few of these white fruited bush cherries that um, are did not ship very well, but those are ready to go. Um, they're coming out of it but not looking the best so those are 16 in the gallons these little guys are still four but they're they'll be potted up to quartz here pretty soon all right and then the big fruit trees um four gallon pots are 45 dollars we've got liberty on both the um, semi-dwarf and dwarf fruit stock uh, Arkansas Black and Molly's Delicious. Um, we still got a lot of really nice basswood, a native, nice native tree that has edible leaves, um, and nanny berries, which are a native viburnum that has edible berries. Although, I mean, not like particularly good edible berries, but you know, you can eat them if you want. Um, and they're great for birds. Um, okay, the pears. We've got one mini pear, a Magnus, and a Blake's Pride here in the four-gallon pots. Um, uh, Harrow Sweet, Potomac, Sunrise, Shenandoah. Um, uh... A lot of these didn't break dormancy very quickly. I think they're coming out of it, but um, I don't want those to be sold quite yet. Uh, we've got some nice Reliance peaches, though. Um, Redskin peaches, uh, Harrow Diamond, and one Purple Leaf peach left right there. Uh, some seedling ginkgo trees. And then uh, here, uh, two gallon mulberries. We've got GH1. Um, I think we are sold, we're sold out of the Girardi on those now. Um, Illinois Everbearing. I think there's, let's see, yeah, Shangri La. Um, this nice big one here is a Shangri La. And that might be all the varieties of those. Um, let's see, we've got a few plums left. Oh, I think they, oh, I missed, we have one apricot left here. What is it? Um, Harleen. And plums, we have Seneca in the four gallon pots, one Stanley left. Um, in the two-gallon pot there. Uh, 
an AU Rosa, and that one that I uh, pointed out last week that is either AU Rosa or AU Producer. That would be half off because we don't know the variety on that. All right, uh, pawpaws, tons of seedling pawpaws right now, um, quart pots for eight, uh, little three inch pots for four, um, gallon pots for 16, that's on the seedlings. And then we do still have a decent number of grafted pawpaws, um, quart pots for 16, um, gallon pots for 20, and two gallon pots for 34. So we've got Davies, um, Atwood, Halvin, Sunflower, Overlease, Mango, uh, that's all in the quart pots, Atwood in the gallon pots, one little tiny Maria's Joy there in the gallon pot, um, I think the rest of that is Atwood, uh, at, Atwood in the two gallon pots, and some Chappelle, is this? Benson, a Benson and a Ch couple Chappelle in the two gallon pots. All right, gooseberries, we have candy sweet and Pixwell and gallon pots. Um, we did just pot up some more of those into quart pots, but they're not quite ready to go yet. Um, uh, consort black currant, a couple Josta berries left, and some of the Hyongkir Von Tet's red currant in quart pots. Couple yellow groove bamboo, some hybrid poplars, um, some orange basket willow, uh, golden corkscrew willow, um, one little tiny dappled willow there, some hops that are looking terrible and weedy, sorry. Um, a nice selection of muscadines still. We've got Sugargate, Carlos, Nesbit, Darlene, Summit, Isons, um, and more of those. One Summit in a gallon pot there. A few wine grapes, Vidal, um, Arendelle, uh, Buffalo, New York, Muscat, New York, GR7, um, St. Pepin, and then a few Concord grapes. Uh, right around here, we have a Chira, um, which is an edible canna lily, and uh, Sunchokes. Those are ready to go now. The Supernova, Nora, and Smooth Red Sunchokes. We have a few Yakon left, um, which are, they're a tropical, but you plant them in your annual garden and dig the tubers just like potatoes. Um, keep them in your fridge over the winter. Our kids love those. Um, we've got a nice amount of the wild ground nuts here in gallon pots and quart pots. Uh, we still have some Ken's Red Kiwis in the two gallon pots, uh, just one quart of that left, and um, a bunch of male, uh, quart sized male kiwis. We ordered in a few new varieties of kiwis here. Um, some of them didn't uh, ship very well, but it seemed to be coming out of it. Um, but we've got uh, Chiang Mai Mountain, um, Geneva 3, and those are female varieties, um, Fairchild and Oppitz male kiwis, and then there's one Ananasnaya uh, in a gallon pot there. Um, the uh, May Pops, the improved uh, native passion fruit, there in quart pots. A uh, ton of Chinese quince, 
still in those little tiny pots, but those will be potted up soon. Um, we've got some of the Japanese flowering quince and quart pots, a few gallon pots of those left. Um, Toyo Nishiki and Cameo are the varieties we have in the quarts. Um, Gold Spire and um, Jade Butterfly male ginkgos, and then some female ginkgos, uh, Salem Lady and Eastern Star. All right, the nut table. The nuts are still looking a little bit raggedy from that frost, but they're all starting to sprout out nice new leaves. Um, got the Persian walnuts, um, aka English walnuts, uh, gallon pots, one quart of those of that left, um, and two gallon pots. Uh, the heart nuts are all in two gallon pots for. Um, 28. Uh, we've got some butternuts in gallon pots and two gallon pots. Um, some black walnuts from improved uh, black walnut parent parentage um, in two gallon pots and gallon pots. Uh, some um, hickories. Uh, select, uh, they're seedlings of parents that were selected for larger seed, but native wild hickories, um, DuPont and Jaw Talk, um, seedlings. It's more DuPont there. Um, some seedlings of Starking Hardy, uh, Northern Pecans, seedlings of Kanza Pecans, um, all in two gallons and gallon pots. The native eastern hazelnuts, we have a bunch of quart pots, and I think there are a few gallon pots sort of back there in the back of those. Uh, the European hazelnuts, seedlings of Yam Hill and Jefferson, we have mostly in the quart pots. There are a few um, three inch pots there and we just potted up a bunch of new seedlings for this year that I believe we have some in the uh, three inch pots that will be ready to go in a couple weeks. Um, a ton of uh, Chinese chestnuts still, all seedlings of improved varieties. And a uh, Kentucky coffee tree in gallon pots and two gallon pots, a few red bud in gallon pots, um, some thornless honey locusts in three inch pots, one quart pot, and some two gallon pots there, a uh, Siberian pea shrub in gallon pots, Amorpha fruticosa, the um, false indigo bush, in quart pots, some ornamental clovers here in quart pots, and I have more of those. It's hard to get a good view of those. They're looking pretty nice. I have more of these back in the greenhouse that are ready to come out here. Um, some of the pink bush clover finally sprouting up. Oh, here are the more. Never mind. I already brought them out here, so more of the ornamental um, white clover. And, okay, let's pause it. Okay, I have a bunch of stuff in here that will be, uh, a few things are ready to go now. Most of this needs just another week or so to um, get established in pots before going out on the sale tables. Um, so we've got a bunch of lime balm, some uh, celadine poppies, and um, ostrich fern, some bigger ostrich fern over here in the gallon pots, uh, some myoga ginger. Now this is an exciting one that um, is, it, we'd al always heard that it was hardy here, but didn't quite trust it, and so we... Um, had to test it out in the ground outside for ourselves for a couple winters before selling it. 
um, and it has made it through the past two winters, including that bad cold snap that we got here this past winter. Um, but this Myoga ginger doesn't make an edible uh, rhizome like regular ginger, but it is the same species. Um, it You eat the uh, young leaves and flower buds as a uh, vegetable that and they add a strong ginger flavor to whatever you're cooking um we've got a bunch of black currants jostas red currants um here that will be ready to go in about a week cuttings that were just potted up uh the may pops that i transplanted a few weeks ago are looking okay some of them obviously are um, either going dormant for the season or um, not looking okay, but for the most part they did transplanted better than I thought, thought they would. Um, a ton of elderberries. Um, now these all transplanted really well and I let someone take a couple home today, but they really ought to have a little bit more time in their pots and in the shade before you put them in the ground. Um, uh, those are more currants. Let's see. More currants, some uh, Pixwell gooseberries. Um, oh, some Lewis R currants, just a couple of those. A new variety for, for us. Um, let's see, some more May apples, um, some more wild ginger, this all, oh, there's some nice wild ginger that should be ready to go soon. And these are all cuttings that are still being propagated, looking good though, and the ostrich fern. <laughs> 